Hi there, Joga here and today I'm sharing a new layout for the Paige Evans design team that you can see here. I was working with the Wonders collection and I pulled some, well, I wanted to work with some specific colors. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, color combos ever, uh, purple, orange and pink. And so Wonders is full of these colors. So I pulled out some papers from the 12 by 12 um, papers and also from the six by eight pad, like this one here, because this one, these ones um, have smaller patterns. So they are perfect for um, backing smaller shapes. So uh, I also chose a cut file that I don't remember the name of right now, even though I checked it today. It might be Love with Hearts, but I'm not sure. I will link everything in the description box below, um, like always. So as you can see, I traced the um, fallout pieces because I want to um, cover them. Obviously, I could have used my cameo for this, but I was too lazy. So, um, and this was quick. So, just three letters, easy peasy. Um, I'm trying to trim this um, whenever it wasn't very perfect. As you can see, I'm adding this on top of the uh, fallout pieces just because I knew that I was going to add some foam tape to these. So, they are. Um, gonna be stronger um it's actually an accident that my photo fits uh color wise uh, there's no orange in it but the purple and pink yes um i had this photo on my table and <laughs> honestly i didn't even think of using it i, I don't really normally scrap photos of flowers and stuff like that um this was um these were some flowers that i got for my birthday last month um so yeah i thought why not and as you could see i traced that heart as well although for this one i used my um what is it called die pick tool or something like that from Sizzix um, just to scratch the surface of the photo instead of uh, marking it and then I fussy cut that out as well so here I decided that I didn't want all the hearts um, in this cut file because I wanted to have more of the purple showing through in the background i really like the the paper it's really sweet with those uh, small white um hearts so yeah i'm just cutting off some uh, some of the hearts here again if i had thought of this before i could have done that with um my cameo but again it, it's very easy to do so I tried to find as many patterns um, as possible. So there, there's this uh, paper that Paige always has in her collections with the two by uh, two swatches. And those always have, or as far as I remember, always have some patterns that are not in the um, big paper. So in this way, I could add some more patterns. So... Yeah, I'm now starting to back the cut files with um, all the different colored papers. I did not show this because, um, it, yeah, I think when you see it once or twice, you know what to do. Um, and now I'm gl gonna glue down everything, adding foam tape to the letters and also the heart and just liquid glue to the... Um, cut file itself and that's probably uh, you know what you spend most time on on this layout because otherwise it's very simple and this is the part where I always have trouble because I never plan with embellishments you know I always plan with the colors and the maybe the cut file and um, 
it's design maybe, but never the embellishments. I never check if I actually have matching embellishments theme wise or color wise, but luckily I had, I found some flowers. I, I found some, um, sentiment stickers, some chipboards, those little hearts, they were all pink and orange. So that's perfect. And then I was, um, yeah, trying to decide between these, um, different butterflies here and dragonflies, but then I went with this option here, a pink butterfly and that I think that's a dragonfly, right? <laughs> now I got totally uncertain. Anyway, um, the stickers, like always, I'm adding to some heavyweight cardstock. Um, maybe I shouldn't have this one here just to be able to bend up the, um, the, the, uh, God, it's too late. I can't think, uh, the, the uh, wings. Yeah. Wings. Um, yeah, that didn't happen. Anyway, um, not a big issue, I think. Even, you know, even the cardstock, with the cardstock, it would have worked, but I added some foam tape to it, so that's not going to work anymore. But then I guess it just looks like the other chipboard, so that's fine too. Um, I don't know if you noticed that. I all my um stickers there started flying. Now I remember it was a really, really hot uh time when I created this layout and I had the fan next to me and everything was flying around, but it was unbelievably hot and I I couldn't stand it, so um, I already forgot about it because right now it's cold. So, um, anyway, all this blabbering, sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm not really adding a lot of embellishments to this because I want to, I, I want that background, um, to show, you know, if I worked that much on it. Um, I'm layering up the flowers. I'm not even adding foam tape because they are already kind of dimensional and little chipboard flower in the middle. And then I only have the, the journaling left. And for this, I, I used a white gel pen. I was really worried that this will not show up on that uh, light purple background, but I really didn't want to use black um, for this. And I also made a mistake, a spelling mistake. I think I accidentally wrote to use in voucher and an O. So it's an O and to use. So, um, and now I'm adding another um, layer so that it's more visible. And I'm sorry that my head is going to get into the frame, but I couldn't crop it out. Um, but I think it worked out fine. I would have preferred to use, like, to only add one layer. Um, but, yeah, then it wasn't so visible. Um, yeah, and then I will remove the, or I already did. Uh, I didn't pay attention. If I erase the lines already, I think I did. Um, the first eraser that I used removed the color as well, so I was a bit ups upset about that. Um, but I, th I think it's not too bad. Okay, so I stamped my date there, and that's it. It's simple, quite quick as well, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.